I'm at uh, EAA Air Venture Oshkosh and the Cessna Sky Courier has just arrived, making its first public debit. So, so this is serial number one, yeah. right? Yes, sir. This is uh, serial number one, P1, uh, as we like to call it in the flight test program. Can you so how much have you flown this or flown uh, the Sky Courier? Well, I've been on the uh, program from the beginning uh, since about January 2019. Uh, I probably have about 450, uh, 500 hours of flight testing, uh, both uh, the prototype, uh, P1 and P2. Uh, I was on the first flight for P1 and P2 as well. And I did uh, all the development and uh, certification flight testing for the uh, flight in and no icing uh, on this aircraft. Have you pretty much done the full flight envelope and it's now just narrowing down on certification? Right, yeah, we've been uh, pretty much through the uh, uh, full envelope. Uh, we've got performance testing done on the prototype. Uh, this engine, or this is our engine uh, uh, testing uh, bird that we've done uh, a lot of our testing for the engines on it and the flight into known icing. And so we've been around uh, pretty much the entire development and uh, we are right on the edge of doing major certification from here on out uh, until the end of this year. So what's the next step? Is it TIA maybe? Or? Yeah, we already have TIA. Uh, and uh, matter of fact, uh, we've done some uh, testing as early as uh, certification testing as December of last year. Uh, the icing was in uh, March of this year. And uh, this summer and uh, starting in May, we've uh, done some other TIA testing. So it's uh, been uh, kind of an iterative uh, process uh, of adding uh, items onto the TIA, but we are, I'd say here in the next week, we are gonna be fully uh, certification uh, flights. And how does it fly in icing? It flies very nice in icing. Uh, we've, uh, we designed this airplane to be uh, uh, very uh, safe and reliable and efficient. And uh, FedEx operates in the icing environment and that was one of them as well. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a very uh, uh, easy program as far as getting the certification done and complete. And, uh, and it uh, flies very nice and icing and ha handles very well. What is the icing indication? Is there a probe? Or? Yeah, there is a, a icing probe uh, detector that's uh, located on the nose and it gives a uh, white cast message uh, to the pilot of ice. And if they're not uh, appropriately configured, they don't have their uh, boots and windshield and all the items that they need to be uh, in uh, icing uh, properly set on, at some time it will elevate to an amber message and letting the pilot know. So it's a very uh, safe uh, uh, design to assist the pilot in making flight uh, and in an icing uh, a much easier operation. So how about general handling? How do you uh, assess this compared to other uh, uh, it's a very stable aircraft. Uh, you know, the Cessna brand, everybody associates uh, stability, uh, ease of flight, uh, landing characteristics, and ease of takeoff and landing. And this is every bit of a Cessna product that you would expect. Uh, it handles very nicely, very well. Approach speeds, uh, for lighter weights, are down in the 90s and just in the uh, 100, 120 range for heavier weights. And uh, it is a very uh, ease and joy to fly uh, airplane. And can you tell me a little bit about the avionics suite? Yes, sir. Uh, it has a G1000 NXI, uh, three tube displays, a 12 inch display. And uh, it also is equipped with uh, uh, autopilot, GFC 700 autopilot. And uh, for a lot of the operators that are very familiar with our Garmin products on our aircraft, uh, especially G1000, uh, it's a very easy transition into this, this airplane. And do some of the operators plan to fly uh, two pilot versus one pilot? Yes, uh, there are two uh, crew seats and it's dual controlled uh, fully uh, with the yoke and pedals and has that capability to be operated as two crew. We are going to design it as a single pilot operation, uh, but if uh, passenger operations uh, that require uh, a second pilot or as FedEx said, they are going to have a, a training operation uh, they will have that capability to do some training operations as a dual crew uh, airplane. And it also has a uh, radar too as well. Yes, yes, there is an optional uh, uh, Garmin uh, GWX uh, radar capability on it. Uh, and it's a very uh, nice system, reliable, uh, has an auto mode feature on it uh, that, uh, you know, does all the work for you, selects out the hazards in the cells uh, that are uh, approaching the aircraft. So if you were a freight dog, would you really want this airplane? Yes, absolutely, I would. 
Uh, I think uh, it's going to be a welcomed uh, addition uh, with FedEx being our launch customers and uh, with those guys uh, transitioning from the caravan to this. Uh, I'm very excited to see that airplane uh, go to those guys and, uh, and I would love to do that job as well so, with this airplane. Thanks for watching this AIM video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.